you know wrestling fans, you know guys, if you watched my SmackDown Live review this past week, and you paid attention to the gist of what I was saying, I pretty much told you that I was done. I was done feeling negative. I was done being cringe. Because I just couldn't take it anymore. Because how many weeks can you really come on here and feel cringe talking about wrestling? And then, I'm on the phone last night with Jason Funny. He hasn't been on the channel in quite some time. You'll see him here soon, later on, this, uh, later on next month. But... He told me that he cracked up laughing while he was watching that review. That he was dying laughing while he was watching that review because of the way I was ranting. And then he said, you know, Webby, how can you not rant and, and be done cringing over the WWE, over wrestling, when they put on a stupid product each and every week. When they put on something that insults your intelligence each and every week. When they put on something that... You just really don't enjoy, for the most part, outside of a couple segments, each and every week. How can you not cringe on it? And I, I just had to say, you know what, Jason Funny, the rest of you out there who probably thought the same thing he just said when you watched my SmackDown Live review. You're right. You're right. And here today, when you hear some of these uh, news and rumors, you're probably going to say, cringe. Cringe. But here we go. I got some news and rumors for you wrestling fans, and today, before we do that, you all do your part by becoming a subscriber, hit that square box down below, and hit the bell also, so you get all notifications as soon as they hit this channel. Now, wrestling fans, first things first, the beast Brock Lesnar, Vince McMahon, throwing more and 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 more money at him. We're going to see more Brock Lesnar this year, according to news and rumors. We are going to see more of Brock Lesnar. Some people might enjoy that. Some people might be cringing on that. One thing's for sure, he is not advertised for Saudi Arabia as far as a matchup. But, according to Bleacher Report, I read that he is going to be in and out. In and out. You know what that means, wrestling fans. Cash in money in the bank. Yeah. No one wants to see that garbage. No one wants to see it. And wrestling fans, let me tell you, if that happens and he becomes Universal Champion, that means we're going to see another 
long reign of Brock Lesnar being Universal Champion. WWE, you are cringeworthy for doing that. Speaking of cringe, WWE confiscating the fans' signs when they are going into the arena. Look, I, for one, can believe that if the sign is saying, save us, Triple H. I can believe that. Uh, you don't want a television show pretty much stamping all over the place that your show sucks. Now, wrestling fans, I am not condoning WWE doing this because you should let their fan you should let your fans have their voice be heard. I mean, this past Monday, fans were chanting AEW, and you can clearly tell that they silenced that out very quickly. Really cringeworthy, if you ask me. Very, very cringe. But I do understand why they're doing it. It's their competition. And you know what's sad about that? AEW has not even began on TV yet in its competition. That is what's sad about it. Okay? No matter how good uh, in, in some of the wrestling fans' minds AEW is, it's still their competition. Now, now, wrestling fans... <sighs> Let's dive into AJ Styles. He's out with injury. This whole Baron Corbin segment that we saw this past Monday in the back, that was a setup to sideline AJ Styles. AJ Styles is out with a back injury. <sighs> There's a positive and a negative coming out of this, wrestling fans. The positive is, hopefully, this will take Baron Corbin away, the lone wolf of losers, away from Seth Rollins' uh, 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 area. Seems how Seth Rollins is the main focus of Monday Night Raw. But AJ Styles can do so much better than this. So much. Who wants to see this crap? I wish Baron Corbin would just go straight to a house show. I think you all would too. These three things are the main things that I wanted to bring to you today. WWE confiscating the wrestling fans' signs. Brock Lesnar's contract, which rumored right now that he is supposed to retire. Retire. Next year, I'll believe that when I see it because of how much money WWE throws at him each and every year. And, of course, AJ Styles, sidelined with an injury right now. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And until I see you again, 
This is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.